great stories that define our state's character. Here's Kevin Mackey with this week's Montana Moment. Brought to you by Montana Chevy Dealers. Nestled between Sheridan and Alder in southwest Montana, there's a little community called Loray. The town's named after a French-Canadian merchant. During the Virginia City Gold Rush of the 1860s, he ran a trading post. Today, Loray's most prominent landmark is the church his wife bequeathed to the town. Kevin Mackey has our Montana Moment. The sun is just rising when parishioners arrive for Mass at St. Mary of the Assumption Catholic Church in Loray. Father John Crutchfield puts his vestments on outside and hurries in to serve 60-some worshipers. He's a busy priest. This is my 8 a.m. Mass, and then I'll head over to, to Ennis for the 10 a.m., and that'll be it for today. And I had uh, a two last night, 4 p.m. in Whitehall and 6 p.m. In, in Sheridan. St. Mary's is one of this spread out rural community's oldest Catholic churches. It's been an icon here in the valley for forever. Luray itself is now an unincorporated community of a few houses and St. Mary's. Since its completion in 1901, the church has continued to serve generations. Yeah, I was baptized here. I was an altar boy when I was a young boy. This is a gift to the community. Father John finds God everywhere, but St. Mary's is special. I'm old fashioned. I like the, uh, the more of the traditional, traditional look. Filtered through stained glass windows, the first morning light spotlights the church's oak interior and it's faithful. I don't know that you can explain it. It's a presence. It's the living presence of our Jesus Christ is here. Joy, comfort, peace. And tranquility. Jim Smith found that tranquility when he moved to the Jim area Smith, a few uh, years ago. So much that he bought and is refurbishing the old rectory next door to live in. And I uh, came to the church to pray, walked out of the church and saw this little house for sale next door and was falling into the earth and said that's the power of providence. On the other side is the church St. Mary of Assumption replaced. This was the first Catholic church and it was built sometime in uh, late 1870s, early 1880s. To trace St. Mary's history, you need to go back to when gold was discovered in Alder in 1863. In 1863, a French-Canadian man by the name of Jean-Baptiste Leray came here to open a business and start selling supplies to the miners. He married a French-Canadian woman named Adeline, who was one of the first women of European descent to arrive in Alder Gulch. They lived here and had a very successful business uh, selling supplies to the miners and then to the ranchers and the cattle industry that grew here. It used to be a sheep community years ago. When I was young, there was thousands of sheep, or several bands of sheep here. and. Since then, it's all cattle now. Jean Baptiste and Adeline are buried in the Luray Cemetery. In her will, Adeline Luray left $8,000 to the bishop of the Diocese of Montana to build a church. The stone was taken out of the Ruby Mountains right over here, and I used to know people that their folks helped haul this rock down for this church. Well, it's a, it's a red sandstone. And uh, the lower rock was more like a granite. It came from the tobacco root mountains, I'm sure, because there's no blackstone or like that over there. Imagine the work and the ingenuity 125 years ago of hauling all those stones from the mountains on horse and wagon. That was before they had lifts and hydraulics. They built scaffolds. They carried that up there. They carried the, the mortar. Everything was done by hand. They were gifted people, I know that, because if you look at the stonework, it's amazing. St. Mary's is described as of Gothic revival architecture, built by the labor of ordinary people. Common people, they were miners, farmers, and sheep herders, and they built it themselves. They probably had craftsmen here to help them, but they did it, and it shows today in this beautiful stone building. Sturdy, majestic, St. Mary of the Assumption still serving spiritual needs in the shadow of the Ruby Mountains. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.